We're here in Seven Oaks at the home of ProSim to find out more about the hidden world of simulation and to find out what you should and shouldn't be doing as part of your race day preparations. Here with his four top tips is European F3 Championship frontrunner Ina Ahmed. Point one, do listen to your coach. Uh, it's very important. Um, simulators can be quite hard things to handle, so you do want to absorb as much information as you can. And uh, for me as a driver, every time I walk through, through the door, I leave my ego behind and then uh, jump on the sim. All right, so point number two is to be uh, self-critical. Uh, I always think that when you come into the sim room, uh, you're an unpolished diamond with a few rough edges and uh, your coach can help you polish them up and, and walk out as a shiny new diamond and be a really quick racing driver. Point number three, it's very important to immerse yourself in, in reality while using the sim. Uh, it's very easy to treat it like a computer game and cheat, but uh, if you um, do everything right, immerse yourself as if you're doing a, a normal test day, you can gain a lot out of using a sim. Point number four is not to be a sim hero. It's very easy to mislead yourself by um, you know, abusing track limits on a, on a simulator. Um, it's very important to keep it strict, uh, achieve what you want to achieve with the driving, and it can be a very useful tool for a driver um, in the long term as sims are only getting better. So um, have fun with it. And if you follow these four simple steps, you should be on school winner.